First thing you want to do is print out two copies of Gauntlet 1, cut the pieces out, tape them together so you have something that looks like this. This will be your template to create a foam piece that looks like this out of 6mm foam or whatever foam you choose. Then you'll take your heat gun and curve it. Next print out Gauntlet 2, cut out the template for G2. Use this to cut out a piece of 6mm or whatever type of foam you prefer. Take your heat gun and curve it a little bit. And then paint it if you so choose, whatever paint you prefer. I used Rust-Oleum Universal Carbon Mist. For this I did a couple of light coats. Now I'll glue part 1 to part 2. I will have a gap of about an inch and a quarter here and about two inches on the side here after it is glued into place. Once this is together, cut out patterns G3 and G4. Use them to cut out the respective pieces. With G4 you'll want to curve it something like this with your heat gun. Glue it into place right here. and glue G3 along the side right here. Another thing to note with G4 is when you cut it out, you want to cut this edge, this edge, and this edge at 45 degree angles, like so. So that when you glue it down to the main part, you get a good amount of contact all the way around. Next, print and cut out patterns G8 and G9. Use those to cut pieces out of foam, out of two millimeter foam, like so. One thing you'll notice with pattern G9 is there are some extra bits right here and right here that you want to keep on the pattern itself. So it keeps the pattern as true and straight as possible when you're tracing it out on the foam. In the finished piece, you will cut those two pieces out. So once you have these two pieces cut out, you will glue G9 on top of G8. Next, you'll print out two copies of pattern G10. The first one, you'll cut out just like this one. The second one, you'll cut around the pattern and cut these pieces out that say cut out for painting template. So once you have it cut out, you'll have something similar to this. You'll use this pattern to cut out your piece out of foam. I would recommend using six millimeter foam because it'll help hold its shape better than using two or three millimeter foam. So once you have it cut out, I'd recommend painting it some sort of silver. So you have a piece like this painted in silver, but you see I've got a two-tone silver in here. That's where this template comes in. You lay it down on here, and you use a different color silver paint to get the different color in there. This gives you a look resembling a sort of blade. So once you have your piece all painted up, then you will want to glue it to the back of G8 and G9, just like so. For my base coat of silver, I use Rust-Oleum Flat Antique Nickel. And for the highlights, I used Dupacolor High Performance Wheel Coating. They're, uh, there's WP101 silver. Once you have your fins glued onto the back here, then you want to figure out where you want to place it onto the gauntlet itself. I would recommend lining up roughly about the center of the back piece here. Lay up your glue on the back of this piece, and if you like, you can put a use a black sharpie to put a guideline and add some glue on the back here and put the two pieces together like so. So once this is all glued into place, cut out pattern G11. Use that to cut out a six millimeter piece of foam in the same shape. I used Rust-Oleum Flat Antique Nickel to paint this guy. Now that it is painted up, 
I will glue it into place right here. Next, cut out pattern pieces 5.1, 5.2, and 5.3 to cut out pieces out of six millimeter foam. Remember when you're cutting out 5.1 to cut these edges at 45 degree angles like so. Once they're all cut out, you will glue them together like so. Once you have this all glued together, use pattern G6 to cut out a piece of two millimeter foam and then lay up glue on the back side of it and carefully lay it into place on the other piece you just finished. Wrap it around the sides to finish up this part. Once you have this all together, cut out pattern piece G7. Use that to make two pieces out of two millimeter foam. Here you can see I already painted them with the silver. Again, I used Rust-Oleum's flat antique nickel to do the job. Now that they're painted up, I will glue them into place on both sides like so. Now that I have both of these pieces into place, the next step is to lay some glue on the back here, lay some glue here, center it on here, and glue it into place like so. So now that I have that all together, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take three strips of foam about one inch wide. I'm going to glue them together here, here, and here. I'm going to put Velcro on the back side of them, and then the complementary Velcro on the other side here, which will allow me to close it up and put it on my arm. Here are the straps glued into place. On the back side, there's the Velcro. And on the other side, there's the other Velcro. And it's ready to wear. 